All right, this is a cold start on the Honda 40. Alright, so we're here on the 2020 Smoker Craft Pro Tracer 162. Um, we got the 40 horse Honda running right now. Over here we got our fuel gauge with our fuel switch, nav and anchor lights right there. Build switch, bilge does work. Live well, which is up front right here. See that spraying in. Honda controls right here with your trim. Go in reverse here. We got our Garmin fish finder here with GPS. All right, we'll give her a run. Dropping on the plane here about 16 miles an hour. There's 20 miles an hour right there. All right, full speed. Trim it up a little bit. 24 and a half. 25. We'll do a right hand turn. Easy turning, easy controlled. One handed here. Go into our wake. Nice, easy, controlled ride. about 24 25 miles an hour with two people and a little bit of gear this boat does have a six person capacity but really easy to control here's a left hand turn We'll go from a standstill here. Nice quiet motor. There's plane. 22, 23, 24. right there. Look we're in a sharp turn. Nice sharp turn. There we go. That should be everything running on the water test here. Um, looks like everything's doing good. 
Um, we'll go out on land and uh, show you a conditional walkthrough of this boat. All right, just got done with the water test. We're gonna do an on the land look at this uh, 2020 Smoker Craft Pro Tracer 162 um, that we got here for sale. So we're gonna just start from the front, show you all the conditional of this so you see exactly what you're looking at. So we'll start off in the front. It is, a, it is a four flat plug, two inch ball. It does have a large swing away tongue. Uh, we tested all the lights, all the lights were working. And we tested them. Up front at the stanchion, you can see that it's slightly bent to the left here. That's why this rides right here. Um, so that could be adjusted to, to uh, back here a little bit and it'll be a little bit easier to load that there. Um, but we wanna point that out. That's just a small thing there. Um, you got your folding jack right there up front. Um, up front we got, uh, this is where your nav lights go. They're working. A little bit of, a lot of storage up here. This is a great uh, boat to fish out from the front in. We'll show those storages when we walk up in front. Uh, along the side here, got some, just looks like it was rubbed. Same with the side here, just rubbed off the paint there. As you can see bare aluminum. On the bottom, it has sat in the water. So that uh, that's from mooring it in the water. Get some scum line on the bottom. But other than that, I don't see any big dents or anything like that. So overall pretty, pretty clean that way. All right, we got the top here and you can see button missing right there, right there. And then there is a rip right here, rip right there and rip right there. So this side, um, something obviously was snagging on it here to rip it and pull off a few buttons on the top there. But other than that, um, the plastic is in good condition. The top, rest of the top is in good condition. Looking down the side, just a couple scratches on the vinyl there. And another wear mark right there. Good tires on it, oil bath hubs, side load guides. This back corner is missing the piece that you see right here. Just this cover piece, it's missing. You do got a little step right here, so you can use that to step inside the boat. This is your live well pickup right there. This is your drain plug for the bilge, and this is your live well drain. So you only plug this one when you're in the water. All right, 40 horse Honda. You can see just some some scum on it from being in the water. Prop is a little bent on some of these corners and some chips in it. This motor only has like 80 hours on it and it was just serviced here at, Flo at Florence Marine. So it is ready to go, low hours. Here's your transducer for the Garmin. LED lights on the trailer. You got a Galvi trailer, which is awesome. So you can see this side of the top looks to be in good condition. All the clear. And not much else along this side. Yeah, so there's a good look at the outside. We'll go ahead and go inside now. We'll pop up in here. So for deck space wise, with these down, and this one does come down too, so you have a full enclosure top. These down, you get a little bit of deck space. People could sit right here too, uh, if you really wanted, um, but you're kind of limited on deck space when you have that. Easy to fish one person, you know, out from the side. You get a little bit of storage back here. Uh, we do have a brand new battery in it. Bench seats, flip up on both sides. Just a little one person bench seat with storage. Storage underneath these two main chairs up in the front. And you got your Garmin unit here, all your switches right there. Steering, a little bit of storage right there. And then your live well. And that's just a little bit of storage underneath that hatch right there. 
which the little handle on it is broken. Um, so it goes all the way through. Front window does come with the piece to block the wind right there. And a little glove box right there. So overall interior, um, seats are all in good condition. The top looks good from in here. Just that little bit of stuff right there, those rips there. Other than that, great little boat. Easy to use this boat. It, they're super easy to control. Nice steering, nice tight steering. Um, going up to about 25 miles an hour with that uh, Honda 40. You could troll off of these. So this will get you out in the, out fishing all the lakes, river. It'd be a pretty sweet setup boat. So uh, come check it out here at Breen Marine in Florence, Oregon.